Hey, what's up guys, Dan here, and on today's video, I wanna show you how you can use Elastic Audio on Pro Tools to time align your music to the grid. So let's take a look. So what we have here are these drums that I recorded, and this is what I want to time align to the grid. And I've highlighted this section here. This is what we're gonna listen to. So let's just start off and listen to what we have. So I recorded these at 120 BPMs, that's beats per minute, and we're gonna take a look at how to time align with uh, Elastic Audio to the grid. So the first thing is I wanna point out the, the grid that you wanna use. So I use 16th note grid and grids, and if you use something different or you wanna, if you wanna use something different, uh, how you can do that is go up here to this section for the grid and you can click on this little note. And I'll have some options, you know, we have, um, you know, the one fourth note, eighth note, 16th note. Now I pretty much always use 16th note because most of the time I have music that will have 16th notes. Uh, for example, right here with the kick drum, these are 16th notes and you can see how they're, they're almost lining up to the grid there. And that is one thing that I do want to point out as a disclaimer is when you are using Elastic Audio, it's not going to be a savior for a sloppy performance. So whenever you're using this, the best thing to do is have a performance as tight to the grid as possible because Elastic Audio is only going to work so far. At a certain point, if a note is just too far off and you try to move it, it's not going to work. It sounds bad, has some weird noises. So just keep that in mind when you are using Elastic Audio that you just want to have the best performance as possible. So Again, I've used the 16th note. You might want to use 8th note, 4th note, depending on what your music is, but always play it safe with a 16th note and try to get as close as possible. So now to enable Elastic Audio in Pro Tools, the first thing we're going to do is highlight any uh, audio that we're going to be taking a look at. So on the drums here, let's pull that up here. And I've highlighted all of these. Now to highlight everything at once, uh, I'll show, I'll do that again. And to do that, what you do is you, you click on the first one that you're wanting to start from, and then you hold shift and click on the very last one. So right here is where all the audio is for my drums. The rest of these are um, uh, aux groups, uh, audio being sent in. So all of these right here are where the audio is. You can see starting right here on the overhead side, going up, everything is highlighted. So that'll save you some time when you're wanting to select all tracks. Now for drums, what I recommend uh, when using Elastic Audio is you're gonna want to highlight everything that you're wanting to time align. Uh, and I do prefer to do it in sections. It's just easier to focus on if you try to do it all at once. Sometimes things happen, it gets kind of weird, may not sound right depending it, how good the performance is. So I just kind of go by section by section and, and we're just gonna look at these, these four bars. Now what we wanna do is turn on Elastic Audio. Now to apply an action to all highlighted tracks, what you'll do is you'll hold Option and Shift to enable Elastic Audio, that's in this area right here, which has actually already been enabled. You can see that it says Rhythmic here, and I'll show you what that means and where you get that. But let's say you didn't have it turned on already. What you do is this little uh, line with a triangle on the bottom, that's your Elastic Audio. So we're gonna click on that, and you're gonna get some options here. So we have Polyphonic, Rhythmic, Monophonic, and Varied Speed. Uh, I don't use varied speed very much, uh, so we're not going to cover that. Uh, but what you have here is, you know, starting with the polyphonic, this is going to be for stuff that's like uh, playing multiple notes at the same time. For example, guitar. Rhythmic, uh, that's mainly your percussive stuff. Anything that's going to be like drums, tambourine, shaker. Monophonic is going to be, for example, a, a good bass guitar, playing one note at, at, at a time. And you can sometimes even use this for vocals if you want to use Elastic Audio to time align your vocals. But we're using drums, so we're going to go ahead and select the rhythmic. And you can see it turns on all of these tracks. Everything that was highlighted, it now has rhythmic on there. All right, so that's turned it on. Next, what we'll, we'll need to do is analyze the audio so that Elastic Audio can know where the events are. So the events that Pro Tools will look at when using Elastic Audio is it looks for these transients. Uh, these are the most important parts and Pro Tools can analyze that and figure out, okay, these are probably what you're wanting to, 
to adjust. So again, with all the tracks highlighted, we're gonna hold Option Shift, and we're gonna go to Waveform. You know, just pick a track that's highlighted, it's gonna apply to all, and we're going to Analyze. And right here, it's analyzed this section here, and everything's turned gray because it's showing lines where any kind of transient has occurred. And you'll see some in other areas because it might be from another point where there was rhythmic C, you know, with hi hat, and it captures that here because there is some bleeding. And that's why it's always wise with drums to do it to all tracks at the same time so that we can shift everything and there won't be any bleeding as long as everything's lining up in all the tracks. All right, so now we've analyzed, and now again, we're gonna hold Option Shift, and I'm gonna select Warp. Now what happens here is, is it's gonna allow you to move these. So let's kind of zoom in a little bit and take a look at some of these. So what you can do here is, if you have like a really good performance and you know everything's kind of close and you wanna save time and do this a little quicker, what you can do is hold option zero and that's going to open up your event operations and we're going to quantize you know that's the, the word for time align you use this in midi quantize that means that you're going to time align and we have it set here on elastic audio events which have been uh, analyzed and then you can select the grid again here we're going to stick with the 16th note and then you apply now that doesn't go away you see you can exit that out but you see now pro tools has put markers these are called event markers where audio has taken place and it has you know you can tell with the the triangle at the bottom with the line now here that was a little off the grid you know so it didn't actually register that these were going to be analyzed so what you can do is you can add by holding control and click now when you're lining up we're gonna take a look at this area right here. Now I have it on grid. That means when you move something, it's gonna move it to the grid. And if you have it on slip, it means it's gonna give you free will to kind of move everything. Um, maybe if you don't want it exactly to the grid, but you wanna get it pretty close. But I do grid. The reason why is most of the music that I work with is gonna be like heavy rock or metal. And especially for drums, it's really important to have it on the grid it's just going to sound really good and again you don't have to do that um, but i would recommend getting it as close as possible now when we're ready to start moving up here what's happened is pro tools when i when we went back again I'll open up the event operations it shifted everything already so everything was shifted automatically pro tool said hey you know this is really close to this grid mark so we're going to go ahead and line it up and that's what it's done here so everything's already lined up this is kind of a, a really quick way of doing this now what i need to do is move this this downbeat here to the grid so to do that i want to just move these right here and since everything's highlighted anything i move is going to do it to what's highlighted so we're going to remove the highlight just by clicking and i'm going to go ahead and select the ones in front of it because if nothing is if there's no event marker in front of the one that i'm going to be moving it's going to shift everything else so without this here for example let's say i try to move that you see how it's gonna, it moves everything, and that's not what I'm wanting to do. Um, so I'm gonna go through here and just turn uh, on these event audios, uh, the, these event markers in front of the, the transient that I'm ready to move here. Click move, and it's gonna click for you if you're set on grid, it's gonna move it right, it's just gonna snap it right to the grid, which is what I want. And by the way, this is also how you can do this manually. So let's pull back out here and we're gonna option shift and I'm gonna go back to waveform on all of these. Listen from these uh, to these four measures now. Everything has lined up to the grid, and what we'll, what I'm going to do is turn on the, the metronome here and hear it with the metronome. All right, and another couple things, uh, well, maybe just one or two things I want to show you in addition to using Elastic Audio, some of the, the shortcuts that you can use. So let's just zoom in on this one track, for example. 
So right here, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna analyze this portion right here. And we're gonna warp. So we're only looking at the kick um, just to give demonstration. So you can see how the transient isn't lined up with the grid. It's pretty close, but these two are a little early. So these, these are what we're gonna wanna move and snap those to the grid. So what you can do is you can individually select these areas again by holding control and clicking. I'm gonna select the ones before and after the ones I wanna move just so it's gonna move only what I wanna move and we're gonna unhighlight it so that we can apply this to single transients and not everything else. Because again, if you highlight it right here and you snap to the grid, it's gonna move everything that's highlighted. And what I'm wanting to do is move one. So boom, there you go. And again, just to show you for demonstration, to get rid of an event marker, you hold option and you see that little finger with a minus and that's gonna remove it. So here to manually move, what I'm gonna do is just grab this and it clicks right to the grid. Now, if for some reason Pro Tools has not really lined it up to where you feel like that is where the event took place, you can hold control down and you can move this event marker to somewhere else. Another thing you can do is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. You you wanted to move a certain area and like just this one, just this one right here, this transient. What you can do is you can hold shift, click. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put event markers before and after this note. So holding shift and clicking, that's going to give you range warping. So let you move within the range. So that's how you can time align your tracks using Elastic Audio. All right, guys, hope this has been beneficial to you. If you like this video, please leave it a like. If you want more content just like this, please subscribe to my channel and please feel free to leave any comments, tips, suggestions in the comment section below. And again, thank you guys for coming out and we'll see you next time.